You see, my friends, the mistake that most so-called Christians make is that they worship the wisdom of the world, the wise men and wise women of the world, the people who founded this theory, that theory, this businessman, that businesswoman, that politician, that, you see, that athlete, that whoever it is, they worship them, that writer, that philosopher, that scientist, you see, that entertainer, all these people, because this is the wisdom of the world, you see, that psychologist, you see, all these people. Now what they don't understand is that all these people are plagued with a diversity of insecurities, weaknesses. You see, you look at an atheist, an intellectual atheist, you, you, you see this man appears to be so strong and so, you know, so, so, so hard-willed, strong-minded, you see. But then you see that he's an alcoholic, an extreme alcoholic. Now I can tell you, my friends, that in my own life, I drank alcohol because I wanted to forget certain areas of my life that burdened me, that plagued me, you see, that, that I didn't have any answers to. You see, you see, this is the thing with it is these people's knowledge is temporary, but they are exalted for that two percent that they know, and they, they no one knows the ninety seven percent that they don't know. You see, they don't know the 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 weaknesses and plagues that burden these people. See, you look at somebody like Einstein, you take this theory of relativity, you take uh, his mathematical accomplishments and all these kind of things, but you don't look at his personal life, who he was, what he did, his failure in marriages, all kinds of things. And same thing with many of these people. You look at Freud, Freud was, he was uh, 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 filled with depression, you see, lost in pessimism. Jung was many of his theories of the unconscious are, 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 were, were, were delved into the occult. See, he believed in the occult. A lot of people don't know that. Now, why am I saying this? Because many people are well, psychology. You know, it's like some, you know, some something out there somewhere in space. My friends, every time you do a fill out an application in a job interview, it's prepared by industrial psychologists. Every time you watch a commercial, that is one of the the babies, the ch the brainchilds of industrial psychologists who prepare those things and help to make them. When you look at uh, all kinds of advertising, it's f filled with psychological principles, theories of learning. People like P.F. Skinner, uh, people like uh, 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 Fromm and Alfred Adler and Mary, all these people, you see. So people don't understand that these things are used everywhere to bait people in, to, to lure them, to, to persuade them, to uh, marketing is all, it's, 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 it's a, a big chunk of it is, is psychology, you see. So people don't see that these people who everybody exalts, all the theories, people, or if you look at business principles or you look at people that founded the theory of this or capitalism or this or that uh, these people who founded these things are exalted you see automatically by people because that is their God you see that's their idol but they don't see that these people are in need of salvation they in need of redemption you see they don't have the answer to what happens after dying you see, the battle between the flesh which is temporary and the spirit which goes on. Where is it going to go on? That's the question. You see, people don't have these answers. They may act all tough. Many people act very tough, intellectuals, because knowledge puffs them up. But they've never ever been through a near-death experience. What I mean by that is where their life was in danger. You see? And some have, but many people they are lost. You see, they have they have they are plagued. You looked at writers; many of them committed suicide. They were drug addicts. They were they were they were uh, lost in 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 adultery. 
they were alcoholics you see why were they these things they were these things because they tried to cover up it's very simple rich people they give you this this untouchable you know i mean control kind of demeanor or personality but at the end of it they're very scared they don't know what's going to happen you see they don't they give people an illusion that hey you know we have things in control we have this and that and the masses buy this stuff but they don't know you see you see a math some famous mathematician they they <coughs> they they worry at the state of human beings some of them because they've reached the place where they realize they don't have the answer and most human beings are looking to them for the answers you see so it, it it's funny to me I've met many people who've authored books and I know some of them you see <sighs> And they, they 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 have many weaknesses and insecurities, which they cover cover up. They don't have the real answer. The real answer, my friends, the real wisdom is Jesus Christ. And the only way we can share this with people is if we know Him, and He's intimate with us, and we are filled by the Spirit of God. That's the only way. You see, not where we start exalting the wisdom of the world and have all manner of idols. You see sports at athletes and all these other people look at them they're politicians they're sleeping around they're caught committing in all acts of adultery drug abuse why are they doing these things they're doing these things my friends because they don't have the answer they don't have the answer to the question that plagues every human being what happens when you die see who has the power to let you continue who has the power over your spirit you see this is the thing instead of learning from Jesus Christ and asking him for for wisdom and being filled by him we go around exalting all these various wise men and women of the world so then we try and tell them some half-hearted message oh Jesus says but you, in your heart you yourself trust in that guy you trust in his methods you trust in his theories you trust in his ways you see and he's gonna laugh at you because he's gonna see no conviction in you you see because you yourself are not convinced you yourself have not been in a strong relationship with Jesus Christ you see and he's going to tell you and point out your hypocrisy. Oh, well, this, this, this and this. But you're following what I said in your heart. You're trusting in materialism. You're trusting in capitalism. You're trusting in this and that and that ism and this, this, this theory and that pragmatism. You see? You're trusting in this philosopher and that philosopher. You see? And then what's going to happen? What's going to happen to you? You see, the thing with it is, when the wisdom of the world is confounded, then all those who trust in it will be confounded. But those who won't be confounded are those that put their trust in the rock, those that put their trust in Jesus Christ. You see. But instead, most Christians are lost in. They say Jesus with their lips, but in their heart, it's all the world, and the world's wise men, and the world's desires and the world's definition of success and the world's uh, ways and methods you see they don't they've never known the God they say that they follow and believe because had they known it then they would the wisdom of this world would be foolishness with them the knowledge of this world will be dust you see <coughs> because they've received things from heaven eternal things eternal thing that will confound everything temporary that will give you a reason to become a stranger and a pilgrim in this world proclaiming a kingdom whose builder and maker is not man you see but instead we worship all the constructions of man all the devices of men all the knowledge and wisdom of men Oh, this ism and that ism. I'm a demo. I'm a follow this. I follow that. I I believe in democracy. I believe in socialism. I believe in in a combination of this and I believe in that. And I'm an optimist and you're a pessimist, 
My friends, it is wisdom that defines the times and the seasons. When to be a conservative, when to be liberal. When to do this, when to say, when to keep quiet. You see? Where to bear witness and where to open your mouth. It's Jesus Christ that defines the moments. That tells you you have to be liberal with this person. You have to forgive them for that. In another place you need to tell them that this is wrong. You see? It's not some other spirit defining you. The spirit of mammon or capitalism or whatever it is. These are not the things that define you. You see, and then you say, well, I'm, I'm, I, I, I believe in, I'm pro-life, but you're promoting wars. You hate people, you hate other people. You're filled with all kinds of racism, all kinds of other things. You see, why? But then you say you're pro-life. It's because some other spirit is defining you, not the spirit of God. My friends, know Jesus, then we will give hope to this world and its wise men.